How do you feel when I bring up the word or the term being a fuckboy? It's a very common phrase in today's language. And is it something you want to strive towards? Or is it something that you want to avoid? I want to go through the five traits of the fuckboy so you can recognize these energies in yourself. Because if you don't, I'm speaking from experience here, they can ruin your life. They can take you some really dark paths. I wanted to explain them so you don't fall into the same traps as I did. Okay. If you don't know who I, who I am, my name is Daniel, and I help guys become men they can be proud of who attract women that they're proud to be with. And that's one thing the fuck boy doesn't do. He do he's not proud of himself. He gets these little ego hits, these little self-esteem hits. But deep down, when he looks in the mirror late at night, he's not thinking like, I'm really proud of myself, who I am as a man. So make sure you watch to the end. Number five, that's going to be the most important one. Let's jump into the five traits of the fuckboy, how to spot them, how to notice them even in yourself so that you can stay clear of those energies. Let's jump in. Okay, so just a little background on this topic. I was the classic masculine wounded archetype of the nice guy. The nice guy is very fake and inauthentic. He seems like he's very nice, but on that, that's actually not what's going on with him. He's very, he's not true to himself. He doesn't own his desires around women. He's always putting on a fake front. But what happened with me is I also swung to another wounded archetype because I was looking around and I'm like, cool, I'm a nice guy. I'm not getting any girls. Girls are just going for all these fuck boys, you know, all these assholes. They love them. They always hang out with them. Okay, cool. That's the thing I want to strive to be because I want to get girls. You know, I'm, I'm lonely. I, I want to feel the connection with the woman. And if that's how I got to be in order to get the woman that I want, cool. That's what I'm going to figure out how to be. So I'm going to use the word like pickup artist and fuck boy interchangeably because they have a very similar energy to them. There's an energetic quality to the archetype that you can see out in the world. But more importantly, I want you to try and notice it within yourself. And I'm going to share stories from my own experience, how this has messed me up from some of the clients that I've worked with so that you can more easily identify these things. Okay, so the biggest trait of the fuck boy is he's not yet a man. Okay, and what, what this encapsulates is he's constantly auditioning. What does that mean? It's like you can even be in a relationship and still have this fuckboy pickup artist energy running you. Okay, you could even be with a woman and still have this going on inside of you. Just because you married a girl or because you have a girl that's your girlfriend doesn't mean that you're like, oh, well, now I'm in a different archetype now. No, uh, I heard one of my mentors say this. He was talking about the opposite in the girlfriend archetype where it's like you could be married to a guy for 10 years, have three of his kids and can still not be in your wife archetype. This is for women. You can still be in your girlfriend energy. And it's the same thing for fuck boys. You know, I've been in a relationship now with my partner. We met almost five years ago. And I would only say sometime within the last year has my energy started to shift from like, pick up artist fuckboy energy, even though I was in a relationship, to now stepping more into my king energies, which I'll speak about in a second. So that pick up artist fuckboy energy, it's constantly auditioning, even if it's got a girlfriend, uh, even if he has a girlfriend, it's like one foot in and one foot out the door. Okay, he's always like, cool, I'm here, I'm enjoying this, but I'm always looking out for other options. Imagine someone auditioning, it's like, hey, I'm auditioning for these parts, and I don't actually want the part, but I just want people to know that they want me. I used to feel this a lot with women, you know, even when I had a girlfriend, if I was ever out socializing, chatting to other girls, it's not that I even necessarily wanted the other girls or wanted to sleep with them. I just wanted them to want me. <laughs> and when I could see those signs when I'm like, wow, this girl's really into me. I would lose interest, okay? That's a classic sign of that fuckboy archetype. He's not actually interested in really bonding with women and building something with it. What he's really doing is using women to prop up his own self-esteem, okay? It's always auditioning, okay, on to the next one, on to the next one, one foot in, one foot out, okay? This leads into point number two. The fuckboy's mindset is the grass is always greener somewhere else. And he's got to keep looking for greener pastures. How have you even seen this come up in clients that I've worked with? It's like they get really good with girls. They really 
this fuckboy archetype fuels in them this energy and then they don't want to give it up okay going into your king energy means letting go of all these fuckboy traits but men don't want to do that and it's like oh i've got this power woman want me i know how to make things happen in my dating life and they don't want to let go of it but it leads them down a dangerous path and they'll always say this thing and i used to say it as well it's like you meet a girl she's a great girl it's a good fit for you guys but it's always like constantly nitpicking like oh but is she the right fit like is she the right one for me and it's all like you can always find faults in other people you're never going to find the perfect girl but if you find a girl that's a good match wow that's something that you can build with and that's what the king archetype does he knows that relationships have to be created he understands that relationships need to be built where the fuck boy is using that excuse oh no it's not the right girl for me i need more girls more girls more girls but really it's just a cover to keep that energy alive and keep that energy going okay this doesn't mean you just end up with someone that's a terrible match for you and you're like okay well i got to build a great relationship yeah because that's what daniel said no keep looking around until you find someone that's a decent match for you but don't be under the illusion that yeah oh but is there going to be someone else better for me is this a girl i really want to be with deep down uh because that's just a decision you make if you're waiting for a girl to come in like wow this girl is everything it's never going to happen because that energy itself is what keeping it alive so notice if this ever happens uh in yourself okay third trait when it comes to the fuck boy is every woman is temporary okay every woman is disposable and essentially interchangeable with the next woman so it's like oh i'm with this girl she's so great awesome things get a little tough i don't like some things going on yeah boom let's get the next girl in okay awesome it's cool it's temporary awesome boom next one it's so easy to eject they all these eject buttons like oh like it was a bit tough uh she wanted like maybe something more serious eject you know it's like oh we got a bit vulnerable she didn't reply to my text for a few days eject it's like they're always looking for these reasons to hit the eject button like i said the king it's like cool there will be challenges that come up in a relationship in a commitment how do we build something past that how do we overcome those challenges where the fuck boy is just like i'm out I'm out on to the next one on to the next one and sometimes there's not even a good reason this is where the fuck boys can be con confused with even even themselves where they're like I don't even know why I want to leave but I'm just feeling like I need to get out of here you know I don't want to commit I just want to move on to the next one I want to keep this playboy lifestyle going um and he just leaves women for for absolutely no reason okay so notice that in yourself again i'm not saying you have to marry every single girl you're with but what kind of life are you building what do you want for your life you just want to end uh, one night stands all the time like have some time to do that and get that in your system but then think of a life you're going to build do you want a partnership do you want companionship do you want to have a family you know do you want to be able to share memories with someone will start getting in that energy stop trying to wait for the perfect girl to come along for you to switch no you have to make that switch first okay so number 4 this is a huge one and it comes more down to sex the biggest thing that the fuck boy does is he uses sex to prop up his self esteem so sex should really be a thing that you're either creating another life form with or you're using it just to feel ecstasy you know that sexual energy pulsing through your body using it to heal yourself you're using it to reach different states of consciousness but the fuck boy isn't interested in procreating for sex and he doesn't even really has depth in his sex his sex is more just a fuel for his own self esteem Okay, oh, I slept with another girl. Oh, I slept with another girl. Oh, I wasn't having a good time with this girl. I moved on. Oh, and I slept with another girl. It's so much more for his own self-esteem. I even had this like I slept with hundreds of women and the quality of the sex most of the time was really really bad if I'm being honest, but I didn't care. I wasn't in there for quality sex. I was in there for my own self-esteem. Oh, I closed. Oh, I got laid again. but it was missing the whole boat it's just a surface level relating with women there's no depth to it there's no bond because the fuck boy by his own energetic makeup 
He doesn't want a bond. He doesn't want depth. He wants to get in, have one foot in, one foot out. As, as soon as stuff gets too serious, cool, I'm out of here. I'm looking for that eject button wherever I can find myself, okay? So be careful. What are the reasons that you look to have sex? Is it to prop up your own validation or are you actually doing it for the right reasons? Because that's not what the fuck boy does. Number five, the last one and probably one of the most important ones. The fuck boy is kind of in a dilemma because he likes having women around, but he just likes him in a very surface level way for a little bit of sex, a little bit of companionship. And then cool, let's move on to the next one. But women become like fuel to him to almost think of it like a little entity and it needs its food to keep on going so the fuck boy can't just be by himself he doesn't have good relationships with other men he just has these surface relationships with women that keep on propping up his self-esteem i was chatting to a, a friend of mine on a podcast and he was a dating coach set with hundreds of women and he ended up going celibate for two years you know that killed his fuck boy energy because the fuel that it needed to survive, he cut off that fuel source. I myself am in a committed relationship, but even while I was in that for a long time, it was still had this fuckboy energy doubt. Is it, am I in, am I out? Like, what am I doing? It doesn't ever see for the future. It's like, I just need the girls to, to keep fueling who I am. And when you can actually enter a relationship from more of a king energy, instead of this fuckboy energy, well, then all of a sudden you start to upgrade, you start to move on, where the fuckboy, again, he can even be with a girl, but he feels this unease, it's like something's not right here, I don't, wanna, I don't, I don't see a long-term future, I'm just here for a quick ride, then I'm out, then I'm out, then I'm out, okay, and where does this all come from, where does this energy come from, the nice guy comes from wounding towards the feminine, he doesn't understand female psychology as a lot of ne negative experiences with women. <coughs> Excuse me. And that comes out in his interactions. And the same thing with the fuck boy. It's not coming from this healed, authentic place of wanting to connect with the feminine. It's like, wow, I could never get you. Now I have the power and the skills and the tools to do it. So now I'm going to use you. I'm going to control you for my own selfish needs and gains. It all comes from a place of wounding and you need to work on and solve that wounding in order to move past that and come to it from a different energy, which is the king archetype, okay? The king adopts responsibility. That's the definition of a king. He's looking after a kingdom. The fuck boy is like Peter Pan. I never want to grow up. It's all about me and my pleasure. Oh, this girl's responsible. Oh, there's a little bit of issues here. I'm out of here. On to the next one. Never want to grow up. All about me and my hedonic pleasures. The king is in there for the commitment. He's in there for the building. I want to build a life with someone. That's where all the juice in life is. That's where all the depth is. Not in the fuckboy traits of surface level, quick, I need to use people to cover up this wounding. But it never works. The wounding is still there underneath. And it'll be a constant torment, uh, tormentor until you look at that and address it directly and stop using these energies of woman to keep going with your life. Because what will happen is, okay, cool, these girls, I'm getting more girls and guys are impressed by all the girls I'm getting. But often you don't really build a life. You can't look back and be like, wow, look at this thing I created for my purpose in the world, this business, how of service to other people. Uh, my relationships with other men. Men don't like to be around these immature fuckboy type traits. Who likes to be around that? Other pickup artists, other fuckboys, they love each other because no one's really shining a lot and being honest and saying, what the hell are you doing? Like it's time to grow up. You're in your mid thirties. They can be in their own little circle joke the whole time. And uh, it's not a pretty sight. The older guys get, uh, it, it starts to look, not a very good look on men okay so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what have you noticed do you ever notice those fuckboy energies in you how have you seen them come up in your life before let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button really appreciate it for the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye